Hello everyone, finally we've uh, got mid lane Zeus here. I didn't upload yesterday because unfortunately the recording didn't record my audio. I will be uh, talking over that audio uh, for an episode. It's a uh, Hercules support, but I'm going to save that as a backup in case I don't get a good... I don't get the role I need uh, next time. This time I happen to get Zeus mid, so we're good. As for mid-Zeus, as I've mentioned before, you have to play him very cautiously in the early game. Um, there are going to be some early game similarities in how you build him to some extent, but that's going to change as the match goes. Uh, for instance, you actually are going to want to start with the, uh, the shield, the shield throw, because that actually does more consistent and more aimable damage than your chain lightning does and it increases your attack speed which is really helpful in the early game when you're boxing someone or you are looking to uh, just eliminate jungle camps it's a very helpful thing to have is that increased attack speed so even though you're playing a mage zeus you're still looking to increase the shield at least in the early game, you switch over to detonate in the mid game, and you'll you'll see where and when that happens. Poseidon support can be good if you play it right, but that really depends. Well, if you build it right, but that really depends on how you build. Uh, let me see. My laning opponent is likely to be Nuwa. This is actually really good. She's pretty safe to play against because it's fairly easy to predict her moves. She doesn't have a lot of options. She has no way of getting away from you. Uh, this, this actually could work out really quite well. So we're going to go for the shield first. Like I said, this is really going to be key. Uh, we're going to go for Sands of Time as our starter item. Why is it... There we go. Uh, this might be too low. We'll, we'll stick with the 20, actually. Uh, so what we're going to do very first is actually we are going to grab... Bancroft's Talon. We want to be able to stay alive, after all, that's very important. We're also going to grab Beads. Uh, there are two reasons for this. New Wad does have her stun, and Cerberus has his ult. Uh, there's a root from Lancelot, and he's their assassin, so that could be quite threatening. And we're going to grab a hog, and we're going to grab some health potions here. Because we don't have a ton of uh, good old lifesteal yet. Who is our jungler? Uh, it looks like a Bracken. Okay. He bought potions. That's fine. What we're going to do... Now, you'll notice I bought Hog. I'm going to save this very specifically for the damage camp. Because I'm going to be using my ability here, and by the time that comes off cooldown, we'll be at the damage camp. But I won't want to use my ability on the damage camp, because that means I won't be able to use it on the wave. So, actually, I want to save the hog until the damage camp. So we're just going to let Kabraken go ahead and do that. See, nice quick elimination there. Now the shield comes back. That's 10 seconds. It's a decent amount of time. So we're going to come over here. We're going to pop this. And just like that, you'll notice the shield is up. We eliminated the camp really quickly. We're just in time for the waves. Now we're going to try to poke out my boy Lancelot here. I was hoping that I would be pulling the aggro because that would force the minions towards me, which is very helpful. We're going to get Chain Lightning next. Okay, good. All right. That was that was good. We're going to we've forced him back, which is really excellent. Um this is a rather bold move, but considering how much damage we've done, very understandable. There we go. All right. Now we're going to loop back around. Oh, we're going to attack. All right. I don't quite feel comfortable with the attack. Oh, holy cow. He's really going for it. There we go. I missed a couple of those shots. Would be nice if I hit him, but it wouldn't have made it too big of a difference. They took the experience camp, huh? All right. All right, good. Now, this is primarily one of the reasons why you want the shield first as well. Now, we're going to grab Detonate. 
I don't know why I pronounce it that way. Now, what our next move very specifically is going to be is increase the shield one more time. It's Aegis Shield, right? Aegis Assault. Close. We're going to increase that exactly one more time for a very specific reason. Oops. Good thing I grabbed health potions. Uh, the reason is, again, it is very effective at clearing the wave. A lot more effective than Chain Lightning because you're going to actually have a lot more control over that. Oh, they're really going ham on me. Okay, I somehow survived. Which is a miracle. They really goofed that if I survived that. I was wondering why she was getting so aggressive. She was just a hair too obvious. If she'd been a little more cautious about that, or I, I would actually say a little less obvious about that, maybe. Go ahead and use that. I have the... That's specifically why you want the hourglass first, actually. Um, and so we can get that MP5. Uh, I was tr hoping I could stop him from crossing the tower line. Unfortunately, I could not. We increase Aegis' assault, and then we're going to increase our ult, and then we're going to do detonate. She's right there. I know she's right there. She thinks she's sneaky. She's really not. No, no, no. We need this uh, damage buff here first. Then I'm going to have to go back. Well, I'm in okay condition. There we go. Good play, good play. He backed off so I could get the final kill. Or the final hit, excuse me. And now we're going to grab our ult. She's backing, which is good. This is a free back for us, basic. Oh, she's trying to juke us out? All right. Okay, I see you. I don't want to go back first, because that's going to put me behind in golden experience. She walked right into that one. Now, notice that I actually have now pulled the minion aggro a little bit here, which is really good. Because this means that they were paying attention to me and not attacking my wave. Which gives my wave an advantage. With this, I actually could pretty safely go back, because she's going to be busy dealing with that. And now we can grab this, we can grab some wards, we can grab some more health potions. Because you'll notice that the with mildly cautious use of abilities, the hourglass has been good enough to actually nicely sustain us mana-wise. So, we're, we're in a really good spot right here. We have an assist, so we're a little ahead of the Nuwa. We have... We're, we're primed. Oh, she didn't actually go back. She went for a jungle camp. All right. That's interesting. That's totally fine, though. Put a ward down there, I think. Gonna go ahead and use a health potion here. Now, notice I'm not detonating this. At this early stage of the game, my auto attacks being boosted by detonate is much stronger than the detonate itself would be. So I really don't want to be using detonate too often. At this particular point, now that it's level 2, that's a totally different story. We are about to get slapped. No, they're not They're not actually pushing this. Alright. For a brief moment, I thought they were going to push this. There we go. Because Cerberus was right there. Oh, hello. I probably didn't need my ult there. He is not building any protections at all, which is fairly nice. I could uh, split with uh, Kabrakin, but I really don't want to. I want him to press that advantage that he's got as hard as possible. He's uh, This is kind of compensatory to uh, the fact that he's not an assassin like Lancelot is, so he's a little slower. So he's going to have a bit of a harder time keeping up in terms of jungle farm. So it's very important that I try to split as little as possible with Kabraken, at least for now. Later on, when he's when he gets more and more ahead, um, that that will become a different story altogether. I'm just getting some poke on her. That's all I want there. Now notice she backed off, just way far away. She probably figured I was going to chase. I didn't want to chase. I had no interest in chasing. 
I had what I needed out of her, which was some serious poke, which allows me to get this wave for basically free, honestly. Now, what is he building? Oh, he's building damage. That's very interesting. At least for now, he's building damage. I want to see where he takes this support. Poseidon build. I'm curious. Yes, indeed. Don't even think about it, Cerberus. Really. Oh. Oh, he should not have done that. And this is really where we start to use detonate as our finishing blow. Again, you want to ideally try and make it last as long as possible. Because that's just more effective for damage output. You'll notice there that I only use it when I knew I could kill him with it. I just wanted to intimidate the service a little bit. I'm trying to keep him in lane. You're going to try to ult me, aren't you? No, you are just doing absolutely nothing. He was backing off, but that's why I detonated there. I'm trying to keep him here. He really shouldn't be letting me poke him out like this. I will eventually kill him. Is that what you were waiting for this whole time? I'm not really that surprised, in all honesty. Ah, juked. Everyone always expects you to go for the tower. If you just don't go for the tower, you'd be surprised how many things you're going to dodge. She's going to turn around and then poke. I don't have the mana for this, unfortunately. I'm not really sure why he bothered. I don't have any mana for this. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I don't have the mana for a, a real fight. Any Bancrofts? Now, at this particular point, you want to decide what, basically, uh, ability enhancement you want. Gem of Isolation or Spear of the Magus. Considering Gem of Isolation wouldn't really actually help me too much against a lot of the enemies here. It would really help against Nuwa, to be honest. But the rest of them have escapes, so it really wouldn't make a difference if I grabbed Gem of Isolation. It would only be useful against Nuwa, so it's really not going to be worth it here. So I'm not going to pick up Gem of Isolation, but I am going to pick up Spear of the Magus because that will really allow me to blast people into Kingdom Come. Well, now that Nuwa is dead, I'm going to go ahead and throw this set down here. Detonate that. I'll increase my ult. Throw this down here, and then we're going to go ahead and gank right lane. There's no need anymore, actually. So we're just going to grab this here. Gonna go ahead and use a health potion there to counter that out. She just did that so she could kill Poseidon. Which is fine. Perfect. Now I'm gonna solo my own damage camp. Now I'm going to detonate this once so I can get rid of these guys a little bit faster. I, mis I miscalculated that a little bit. I'm going to throw this out so I can kill him faster so I don't lose too much health. Use my health potion. We start increasing Aegis. And you might be wondering, Professor, why aren't we increasing Chain Lightning? Well, primarily because you've probably noticed how difficult it is to actually get that under control and make that target who you want to. Uh, so we actually don't want to be really be relying on that. Yes, you can to some extent predict where it's going to go, especially if you use the Aegis Assault, it, it becomes more predictable, but it's still not something we're going to want to rely on. It's not that great for wave clear. The Aegis Assault is better for wave clear purposes. So that's really why we don't go there. At least we don't go there now. We obviously, we'll be eventually increasing 
chain lightning, but at this particular point in time, it's just not what we need. It's way more useful in team fights, where it doesn't really make a huge difference who it's hitting. It's hitting somebody, and that's all that matters. In the laning phase, it's not quite as important because you're... It doesn't hit the whole wave. It could target a minion over the enemy god that you're trying to actually kill. So it just isn't as effective in that context. Alright, so we're just going to get rid of the trebuchet here. Here's Nuwa, which is a bit of a problem. Just a bit. Good. A strong warning will unite. Okay. Nah, she's not gonna come out of there. She's just gonna Stay under tower, because she is way too low at this point. That was good. Oh, she timed that correctly. I went for the early poke, and I wasted my detonate, but that's okay. But I did get some great poke on her, which is important. She's going to try it. All right, no, she's not. Now, with Cerberus here, she's probably going to get fairly aggressive with this. Boom, and she'd already used her Aegis, so I know I could kill her. <laughs> I'm gonna get fairly aggressive with this because I know that Cerberus won't attack me. Uh, I know he's got no mana, and I have my ult, so I know even if Lancelot attacks me right now, I'll be able to survive. That is why I'm being fairly aggressive here. Mostly it's because I have my ult, so I know no matter what happens, Lancelot is not going to pose a serious threat. I probably should not have bothered ulting, to be completely honest. Yeah. Ooh. Nope, I'm gonna die here. No, I'm not. Uh, maybe still, yes. Okay, that's fine. That is okay. We had to, I mean, we weren't gonna get through the whole game without dying as Zeus. Come on, let's be honest here. Um, at this particular point, what we're gonna go next is Typhon's Fang. It's gonna start giving us the penetration we're gonna need late game. It's gonna give us more lifesteal, which is very important because we're the slowest moving mage on in the game, pretty much. We're gonna grab Aegis here. After you get Typhon's Fang, where you go next is very much up to you where you want to take your build. I typically go for some form of cooldown. Spear of Desolation is a favorite of mine. And then go with Rata Tahuti, but with the attack speed boost. And that gives me 30% cooldown. That gives me a nice power spike. Well, the 30% cooldown comes from the evolved uh, Hourglass and the Spear of Desolation, obviously. But the attack speed Rod of the Booty increases my damage output, gives me good auto attacks, and the Meteor from the Calamitous Rod of Tahuti is not really that useful on Zeus because you don't have a ton of crowd control. You've got a couple, you've got one, maybe two slows if you put on Gem of Isolation. And that's literally it. Um, which does not get you far in terms of trying to land that Meteor. Uh, sometimes there will be moments where an enemy accidentally just stands there. And gets whacked by the meteor, but that's very rare. So it's really not worth it to try to rely on the calamitous meteor to eliminate your enemies or even do anything approaching meaningful damage because it just honestly does not hit that often with Zeus. So I typically go for the attack speed one because at the very least his attack his auto attacks are awesome. I can clean this up over here. Hello. How did you miss that? Oh, I've got Poseidon here. That's all I need. Wait. Nope. I was hoping to pick up Pachimon, but that is clearly not going to happen. Ultimate is down. It's under attack. 
The only reason I'm chasing this is because I know she's over here, so she's not at mid lane right now. Can I actually proxy this a little bit? Kind of. I'm in some trouble. No, he really dove deep for me. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, it would have been nice if they'd come and tried to, you know, actually save me rather than go chasing off whatever they were chasing off. Yeah, they'll pick him up probably, but they could have saved me there, and I'm not quite sure why they didn't because there was nothing to fight for in the jungle at that point in time. And if they'd saved me, I could have healed up off the minions and participated in the next team fight. But this is all that was also the great demonstration of why you need Typhon's Fang even this early. I could have out-healed him very easily if I had Typhon's Fang. I didn't, so therefore I wasn't able to outheal him, but that's totally fine. We're pretty well ahead of the new WAP at this point, so it's not like we couldn't afford the death. We're still breaking even, so we're still doing alright. So we're still in a pretty good position overall. It's not really that big of a concern. That was a nice ult. Nice ult. Actually, I should be grabbing Sentry Ward. That also allows me to heal from the new WAP ult, even though it wasn't going to do that much to me anyways. Now, Mulan has just covered my mid lane, and normally that would be a bad thing, but what this actually does is gives me the opportunity to clear out the jungle here. Unfortunately, Poseidon was dead well before I could even get anywhere near him, so that, that's just a fact we're going to have to accept, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll clear that, drop that, rinse and repeat here. My lane is being fairly well supported at this point in time. Clear this out, get rid of you. And now I... Now, the reason why I didn't participate in that is, well, I could probably have taken out Hachiman. <laughs> I'm still going to die here, honestly. Except they're all going forward. And I... The lightning bolt doesn't kill him? I'm very surprised by this. <laughs> yeah, at this particular point, they're grouping up. No, don't go pinging. We are, we just weren't grouped up and they were. That's all it comes down to. Interesting build by Poseidon. He's going with the movement speed build. Which is effective in the early game and can be very effective in the late game if you're far enough ahead. He's decently ahead right now. He's not as far ahead as Cerberus, who's been absolutely curb stomping. But that's also why I lost to Cerberus as well, as he's very ahead I'm pretty sure, actually, it's more like the uh, supports are doing most of the ADC work. Because Neath is not doing particularly well here, and that's probably because Poseidon's been carrying that lane. On my way. I think if I get there in time, we can easily kill these people. I have Volt in 10. No, we don't need to surrender this. What? We surrendered this? We did not need to surrender this. <laughs> Alright, uh, well... Ultimately, at the very least, you got to see a lot of how Zeus works. This isn't what I would call an ideal match. I'll probably re-record this, but it does give you a strong indication of what the early game of a mid lane Zeus looks like. I want to point out that we actually were far enough ahead where we very easily still could have won that. All we needed to do was group up. Uh, this is basically just a bunch of people being salty for absolutely no reason. I have no idea why. Um, uh, Kabrakan, I know, was upset. I don't know why he was upset. I don't know who else was upset enough for a full surrender. I have no idea why we surrendered there. But... Ultimately, you can see where the the build goes and everything like that. Um, like I said, I'll probably re-record this at some point in the near future. But thank you all very much for joining me. If you liked this, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, please ignore me. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, ideas, suggestions, or requests, please leave them down in the comment section below. Oh, actually, one other thing really quick is the reason why Nuwa had such a hard time is because for a mage with no escape, she went and built stacks with Warlock Staff. That takes too long, and her early game isn't strong enough to justify that. Uh, that's not something that you should really be trying. This is why I don't build stacks on Zeus. He has the same issue. He's got no escape. He's got very few options 
of surviving a confrontation that he doesn't want. If he gets surprised, he usually dies. It's the same thing. You don't want to build stacks on these kinds of mages. Agni is fine because he's got an escape. Um, you know, mages like that that have a way out. Zongkui has no escape, which is why I don't build stacks on him. It's a very similar kind of thing. That was Nuwa's fatal mistake right there. It's just the fact that she was building staff of the warlocks, uh, warlock staff, um, staff of the warlocks. I'm not wrong, but that's not how it's called. <laughs> but that's that's why her early game was so rough. She was not matching the levels of power that I was getting. Um, but yeah, this is a terrible example of why sh of of surrendering. So thank you all very much for joining me. If you liked this, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, please ignore me. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, ideas, suggestions, or requests, please leave them down in the comment section below. And thank you all very much for joining me. And have a great twenty four hours.